Hello guys, Bubblecube here, and today I am playing Super Metroid. Randomized. Sorry, I was just adjusting my microphone input because it was, I think it was getting just a little bit high, so I've reduced it just a tiny bit, um, because that should be better. So, yes, today I'm playing Super Metroid Randomized. I hadn't really planned for this. Like, I've been wanting to play, or get like some other sort of like gameplay onto the channel and I don't really jeez sorry I forgot that that's B on the SNES controller I'm, I'm using a 360 controller playing this on emulator okay like, I, I don't really have a way to record any consoles I mean I've got this on like the Wii U and 3DS and the SNES Mini Classic but, you know, the emulator is the best way to go about this for me, to record it for the channel. Um, but yes, so the next video going up, because uh, the previous one will have been We Were Here, was going to be Subnautica. Like, I had it recorded, and it just needed to be edited, but I just didn't really have... Um, no, um, when I went to record it, uh, Shadowplay, uh, you know, NVIDIA, which I normally use to record, it just wasn't working. Like, there wasn't even any overlay. It was just completely broken. Ridley, can you? And so, I thought, well, okay, it doesn't matter. I have OBS, which I'm using at the moment to record this. So I thought, that's fine, I'll just use OBS. Like, I got it... I've been working sort of to see if uh, it's like viable for me to stream because my internet is a bit hit and miss. Like there haven't been like any test streams you would have been able to see or anything, but that's something that I'm considering. Did I just do an accidental damage boost? Great. Um, yeah. So I was like, I'll just use OBS to record some Nautica. It's fine. But what I hadn't realised was I had, I must have. I think I'd had it, I'd scaled whatever I'd recorded last time, for whatever reason, but hadn't changed it, uh, the settings in OBS, so the image was scaled wrong, and a large, and I mean like a fairly large part of the screen was just cut off entirely, which has basically ruined the whole recording, at least for the first episode. Like the two episodes afterwards are fine, but it means that the one episode is unusable. So it's probably going to be cut out, or I might upload, like, a short highlights video of it or something, I'm not sure. But, anyway, long story short, Subnautica's temporarily delayed whilst I figure out what I want to do with it. And so we've got this video to explain that, and also because I fucking love Super Metroid. Uh, unfortunately, I missed it when I was younger. I think basically the first time I properly played it was on Wii U slash 3DS on Virtual Console. And this game is fantastic. It's... You know, people often say, oh, your games are like a valid art form as well. And you have like artsy games which try to like play into that like, Oh, look at us, we're so fancy, we can toy with your emotions. No, this game is art. If you took, like, video games and distilled them into their purest essence, you'd get this fucking game. It's, like, for the time, and even, like, now, aesthetically, it's fucking gorgeous. The soundtrack is amazing, and it just has a sense of atmosphere that virtually no other game can replicate. This game is 24 years old now, and it's still genre-defining. There's a reason why the genre is called Metroidvania. It's because this game, you know, helped create, the, uh, well, create and establish the genre. Also, that's supposed to be Morph Ball. I don't think I can go to the right without Morph Ball. So I'm left having to go back and start my backtracking early. Say hello to Space Pirates. The ones in this room go down in one shot. 
like, one of the things that makes this game so good, like, and one of the reasons why I think it's better than newer Metroids, is the fact that there's so much, like, movement. Okay, power bombs. That I can't use because I can't enter Morph Ball. Um, yeah, one of the reasons why this game is, like, so. such a prime example is just because it has so much, like, movement tech. Like movement techniques that you can pull off, and that's one of the reasons why a randomizer for this game is viable, is because you ca have so. Well, I mean, through the like the use of like some of them glitches, yes, but the advanced movement techniques, you can sequence break this game so badly. But it's n why is that a bad thing if you know what you're doing? Why should you be restricted from what you can do in the game? And like, especially with like the randomizer, early on it's so easy f for me to potentially soft lock it. But that's my, you know, it's my fault for playing like a randomized version. Um, sorry, I'm having to concentrate slightly because I don't want to make a fool of myself climbing up that because I'm. I can wall jump, but I'm not very good at it. I am far from uh, being a speedrunner at this. I haven't, also, I haven't played um, God damn it, Super Metroid in a little while. I've, I've possibly over a month, so I'm a little rusty at it. Um, I can go through here. And I've completely forgotten what I was on about before that, which has actually kind of annoyed me. Do we have to go up there, Samus? Okay, I've got missiles. I don't have Morph Ball though, so I'm still a bit limited. With... Um... Oh, I was sort of talking about sequence breaking and stuff, but that wasn't I. Ah, I kind of reached the end of that discussion. But yeah, this game is just a, a masterclass in, like, video games. Um... Ah, oh, wow, roughly halfway through this episode, and I've just remembered that I didn't actually mention that, yeah, yes, I, you know, I don't know if this is going to be a one-off or not, it probably will, or I, this might be, you know, if you're interested in it, this could be something I could live stream in the future. You know, assuming that I do actually, uh, get to live stream. Um... It's worth checking out this room, even though I don't have Morph Ball, because it might be Morph Ball down there, it's missiles. Okay, I'm gonna need... Um, some more missiles, please. Um... This is... Oh yeah, so... Yeah. No, no, I just remembered. God damn it, I keep on getting distracted. This is... See, this is why I always... And I say it a lot. This is why I think I should... You know, only sort of record stuff... With a co-commentator. Because I lose my train of thought so easily. Because I concentrate briefly on... There's more Ball! And what I'm trying to play. And it makes me forget what I'm trying to say. Those two cannot cohabit within me, gameplay and, like, discussion. So, but now I can safely head back and grab the items that I have missed. By, by not having... Now I have to be careful here, because I did try recording this, like, just now, and I got stuck coming back in like those blocks because I jumped, landed, and got stuck having to be crouched, but because I didn't have Morph Ball, because I created like a new randomized version. Um, I got stuck, and it meant I had to end the episode a bit early, because there was, you know, there was nothing I could do. And I had just been saying like, oh, I have to be careful, I can't go into here, because if I do, I could soft block, because uh, I was talking about the spawn boss. In the normal unrandomized version, you go in, beat like the spawn or spore, whatever it is, like boss. 
and then you drop down a long shaft, you get super missiles, and then you use them to leave that, uh, like, little area. But in a randomizer, you can get normal missiles, or gravity suit, you can get basically anything. So if you don't have super missiles when you go into that area, then chances are you're going to soft lock, which is no fun. I mean, it's kind of your fault, but it's not something you want to do. So, let's go down here, because that's a terrible idea. <laughs> um, ideally, I don't know, I've, I've got power bombs, it's fine. I was just remembering the times when I've had no power bombs or bombs, and I've come, come down here for... Okay, I got X-ray, X-ray scope, so I... The trigger for the Chorizo waking up is you having bombs. If you have bombs and you go in there, like, already, then the fight just, like, immediately starts. It's why... Sort of, like, when you pick them up, it then activates. Um, so by not having any bombs at all, then... Uh... You don't have to fight them, but yeah, you have to go up that side if you don't have any kind of bombs. And let me tell you, it sucks. Um... No, we can go down. There's some items in the room of the ship where we started, but I probably need high jump or at least something else to get up there. That room on the right is just a save or map or something, whatever it is, it's superfluous. Oh, I've gone past what I could have gotten, actually. I can get it on the way back up. And I think we... I didn't quite time it... I, I did time it right, but I didn't quite get the movement right. We've already gotten that. That's where we got our power bombs. You have to try and remember um, what items you've got, but also um, where all the items are on a randomizer. It's much more important than usual. It's probably the hardest part of the randomizer for just remembering where all the items are. Or at least if you're me, because I'm. I'm a dumb bum. But we can power bomb here. And there's an item here. A rave beam. Now we have a purple wibbly beam. Yep, that's the official term. Purple wibbly beam. Ah. See, now we're a reserve tank. That's useful. What have we got in here, though? Ouchie. Now... Damn it, what I was trying to do was use the enemy to damage, oh, normal bombs, to damage boost into there, but it's not very easy. Um, there's, normally you use speed booster to get up there, but, damn it. That should work. And we're up. Ah, I don't think I can. Mistakes have been made. Oh, mistakes have been made. Can I... Wow, you just cannot bomb jump. Okay. Oh, Christ, that did a lot of damage. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, we just cannot do that.
for about 15 minutes. Now see, I, sh I really should try and get that super missile tank, but I don't want to waste time trying to get it. Like, I would spend the time to try and get it, but for the sake of this video, I'm just not going to. I mean, I could. I mean, okay, I'm at 15 minutes. I will take the time to get it, but I'll probably just fast forward it or cut it out. It's just otherwise, um, the video is going to be really long because it could take me five minutes or longer. And that's not going to be very entertaining to watch. I mean, you could say that about the whole video. <laughs> I've got no idea how entertaining I am. I just... I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn... Help. I can't turn screw attack off. Okay. No, that, that's fine. I didn't want to turn screw attack off anyway. So can we spin to win, Samus? No? Okay. Fine. Fuck you. Fuck it, I can't be bothered. It pisses me off too much. I've done it in the past. Can't be bothered to do it now. really bad because this ep video is like basically you know I got there's not a lot more I can reasonably do and it's just like but I haven't really done anything like the grand scheme of Super Metroid I have barely started oh come on screw you Damn it, Samus. Samus? Come on. Samus? But hey, if you like me listening to me get frustrated, then uh maybe this is something I should stream, because believe me, I get frustrated. <laughs> well, not more like more like majorly, but a little bit. Like now. Okay, that was just my bad. Samus? Sorry, I'm getting frustrated there because it, as far as I can tell, I'm doing exactly the same inputs and either Samus just refuses to do like a spin jump or she flings herself off at like 90 trillion miles and I don't... Right, I have normal bombs, I'd say I don't have any power bombs left, and I remember, no, I have bombs. You silly goose. What are you playing at? Oh, more power bombs. Boing. You know what? I am going to try and get the pair of items from by Samus's ship because screw it, why not? There is a way I can get up there. Because what I want to do is try and go up here. But it's not that easy to wall jump your way. But if I can get the timing down. I can bomb jump my way up. Now I'm going to have to try and be 
careful because as you can probably tell by the way that I'm speaking I'm concentrating quite hard because you have to get the timing just right and I don't want to mess it up so I'm not really concentrating too hard on what I'm saying and it's just a kind of verbal diarrhea as I just spew constant words out as I don't think about it because if I think about it then I'm gonna mess it up And I've made it up here now. But this is probably going to go terribly, terribly wrong. Because acid freaking hurts. And I don't... Oh yeah, this is... This is a mistake. I'm leaving. <laughs> I went to all that effort to get up here. But... That was also partly just to show off bomb jump. Um, fun fact, I st start bomb jumping by closing my eyes. Like I actually just stop watching to start bomb jumping because I find it, I don't know why, but I find it easier if I focus solely on like the audio. You know, once I've started bomb jumping, then I start watching. Okay. Um, we're at about 21 minutes, I cut a minute off, let's do a little bit more, we'll run the episode slightly longer than I was planning it for, just because I haven't really done anything, and I really want to get a bit further than this. Um. But I guess I should say, if you, you know, before I get to the end of this episode, if you've enjoyed sort of like any of this gameplay, not to subscribe, although, you know, I would appreciate it. Um, but no, if you've enjoyed this, let me know in the comments, because then I'll know to, you know, produce more content like this. But I certainly recommend checking out some Super Metroid speedruns, because they can be very entertaining. Um, there have been some amazing Super Metroid runs at, uh, GDQ, like, um, put some of my personal favourites are, there was a 2P1C, like, two-player, one controller, um, and I think that was with, I can't remember the runner's names, I can remember, um, Oats and Ghosts, I think it's the Zost? I'm not sure, it's kind of bugging me. But, um, and there have also been some, uh, competitive races that have also been really fantastic. Wait, I can get an item in here. There's a couple of items I can get in this room still, actually. I nicknamed this room Kakariko Room, because I can... Oh my Jesus! No, sir. I pressed the wrong... No! I've got to be very careful because that is... Those blocks above that spike are bombable. So if I land on them while still spinning, then I'll break them and I'll take more damage. And I can't afford to take more damage currently. Um, but yeah, we nicknamed this room... Kakariko. I went past items just showing just how long it is since I played. Also because I've usually gotten them. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, yeah, check out some of the runs at AGDQ and SGDQ. So I think they run it at like both events. You can find the runs on uh, YouTube. They are like the Super Metroid runs are consistently fantastic, and also just speedrunning in general. So, I mean, like I said, I'm no speedrunner. <laughs> this is incredibly slow and unoptimal, but basically, like, my interest um, in, I guess, somewhat breaking Super Metroid came from watching speedruns. So, let's see if I can pull off a mock ball. Oh, I don't think I have, because I hit the ceiling. Yeah. Um... 
I can give a quick mock ball tutorial if you like. Just step on, open door, then run, jump, hold down, down, hold jump. And then I messed it up, but you want to um, morph, like enter morph ball just as you hit the ground. Um, and then obviously press right and you keep the momentum. If you see the little bounce, then you've done it wrong. And I guess I was just going too slow that time. And obviously you have to have like the running start for the speed. There we go. I was about to say I'm embarrassing myself. Because Mock Ball is actually surprisingly easy. Sort of like once you've managed to pull it off once, any times after that it's so much easier. Oh. Gravity suit, okay. Uh, if you're also another little, I guess, tiny optimization you sort of see me do occasionally is. Oh, that's the gravity suit. <laughs> um, if you are trying to like, use Morph Ball to go anywhere. If you drop a bomb and then, like, avoid being within the bomb's radius, normally that's super missiles there, but if you avoid being caught in the blast of the bomb, like, even if you're crouched, it normally propels you in the air a little bit. So if you avoid it, then you avoid getting the jump. And it saves, like, a tiny bit of time. God damn it, I just... Keep, well, I just want to keep playing. Oh, and I've, my, one of my friends has just sent me a message asking, are you playing Super Metroid? That's, um, Joe from the previous video. Uh, he knows. I'm, I'm gonna have to... So yeah, I think in a minute... Oh! Did I not come down? I forgot to come down here. Oh my god! I could have had space jump! I'm a freaking idiot! Oh, God. Wait, I need super missiles to open that door. I'm a nugget. Well, I guess I will head to a save room. And leave off on this episode. But I will... You know, if you're interested, then we can... I can pick up this randomizer again, because I'll save and we can continue this run. Which I kind of hope you do, because I really enjoy it. I might... Or I could do it on stream or something. That... I think that would be fun, actually. So... Yes. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, comment, like, show your support for it, because otherwise... Like, if you don't tell me you like it and whatever, I can't... I won't know. I'm not, I'm not psychic. Um, yes, and so obviously if, you know, there is interest, then I will continue this in streams probably, or possibly videos, but hopefully streams. And yes, I will see you in the next video.